What's up guys, it's SquishCow227 here with another episode on the Cornercraft server. So, as you can see, I'm still in the shopping district. And on this um, enchanted bookshop, I've added diamond blocks to the corners just to flex on people like I said I would do last episode. I think it really looks a lot better now. And also, I'm going to play around with a few ideas and try to make that book look a little better on top. So... Okay guys, I know it's off-centered, but <laughs> it looks a little better than before. I tried making it diagonally, but it, it just didn't work. So, you're gonna have to deal with it being like that. I don't know, does it, does it look better like this, or like before? I don't know. But, we can just leave it like that for now. So, actually, the main point of this video, we are gonna be breeding a lot of animals and villagers. And we're going to try to get a lot, a lot, a lot of villagers. And maybe we could start our own food shop. But while I'm here, I wanted to check out his new quartz shop. Welcome to Athletic Works Shulker and Quartz Shop. Uh, take any shulker box from the pile and leave your payments in the chest. Also, there is quartz. <laughs> Wait, so how does this work? Take any shulker box from the pile. Okay. Well, our business is done here. No, I'm just kidding. Here's more signs. Um, leave payments in chest. Four shulker box. Four diamonds each. Nether quartz. One diamond per stack. One diamond per stack. That's respectable. But that's a lot for shulker boxes. Like, I mean, it's not that hard to get them. Okay, so... We're heading back to the base to start breeding some animals and some villagers because you you all saw the theme of this video. We are going to be breeding a lot this episode. Oh my gosh, what is going on? So yeah, let's... Oh, that was perfect amount of blocks. So let's start breeding some animals. But first, we're going to start with the villagers, I think, because... The villagers have been waiting there for a long time, and I don't, I think my animal breeder, or is, or, or I think I'm going to breed the animals actually uh, near Red Dog's base, because he lives in a savanna, and there's a lot of animals there, and it's easier to breed them there, because, um, at, like, if I were to try to do it in the desert, I'd have to get a bunch of grass over, and there's, like, no grass in the desert, so... This is my trading hall, but I don't think I'm going to have farmers anymore. I think I'm going to use um, the map guys because um, they also sell, uh, they also buy sand, and we live in a freaking desert, so we can get a lot of sand. And there's this YouTuber named Luke the Notable, and Luke the Notable uh, made in a thousand days and hardcore Minecraft uh, video, and in that he uh, breeded a lot of villagers and sold, um, like, it was a desert village, and he sold, um, like, a bunch of glass and sand to them, and he managed to make a, like, I don't even know, 20-story house out of emeralds and, like, four um, beacons which was crazy, so I'm going to try to do something similar to that. Okay, so we're going to make it right up here in the desert. I'm thinking, like, right in this area, and we're going to make it out of glass using all the sand I collected. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Okay, so Athletic Orc actually took all the sand that I collected from before, Guys, I know I say this a lot, but I feel very dumb right now. So, <laughs> my shovel is fully repaired, and my pickaxe is fully repaired, but that's because I've been grinding at the mob spawner for quite a while now, and then I realized that my shovel has mending, so I could have just mended it, but instead I've been using a diamond this whole time. I've used probably like four or five diamonds to repair it every time, because... I've been grinding out a lot of snow, and so I use my shovel quite a bit. So, yeah. But, anyway, 
The reason I don't have all the sand yet is because I haven't been doing that. Actually, what I've been doing is um, talking to Athletic Orc, and he told me that, um, so if you remember, I gave him an IOU at the beginning because, um, because I took some of his rockets when I first got my Elytra, and 60 rockets, 64 rockets isn't that much, but uh, now, then he said he's going to use his IOU and I have to get him uh, a stack and a half of, di of iron, sorry, and that wouldn't be that much, but then after that, he actually tricked me, so as if you notice, I have efficiency 4 on this diamond pickaxe right here. I didn't, or efficiency five. I didn't used to have that. I got it uh, because I traded with one of uh, Banjo Bear's uh, villagers, but it turns out that uh, Athletic Orc tricked me or something because I found the book in one of the chests and then I left an IOU for Banjo Bear, but then it turned out that chest, uh, even though it was on the villager island and it was traded with the villagers, it was... Um, Athletic Orcs. So he he told me that the villagers were Banjo Bears, but the book wasn't. Like, he told me this afterwards. Now I own two and a half stacks of iron, which is a lot of iron. So right now, in my ender chest, you can see I have a stack and a half. That means I have to get another stack of that. And then he also said that Every day that I don't give it to him, I owe him 16 more, which is another quarter of a stack. So two days, I'll owe him another half a stack. In four days, I'll owe him another uh, full stack. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of a problem. So right now, I'm going to go mining. And if I find any diamonds or something cool like that, I'll show you guys. But I'm probably not going to show you. I'm probably not going to show you if I don't find anything interesting. And then we can start on the villager breeder. So, see you guys after that. Bro, wither skeletons are actually spawning. Oh my god, there's a gas right there. Oh god, I almost hit the pigman. <gasps> no way, yes. I said yes. Dude, I'm so putting this on my wall. Okay, guys. So, I went on a very long mining expedition. I I was going to go at the um at the old enchantment table, but then I decided to go um I just found some caves in the desert because it's a lot easier to use caves than to just strip mine. So, I came up right there, and this is what I got from it. So, not that much stone cuz I was um I was mining in the caves. I did get this much though because I was strip mining at the beginning. But we got enough iron for athletic work. So that's good. And um, then I got all these ores. I already had some of these from last time because this is the same shulker box. But yeah, um, now we can start breeding. So I did fully repair my shovel and I'm going to mine out a bunch of sand. You guys won't see that, though. And then I will start breeding some villagers. Right now, um, I need to create a hopper. And that's why I took this out in the first place. And I don't have any wood. Just kidding. I do have wood. Okay, now where was I? Uh, we need to make a hopper. So, um, okay, so as I was saying, the reason I need a hopper is because I have a full lava bucket in here and that'll all go to waste if I just put in a stack of sand so I'm gonna put in a hopper and then um, I'm gonna have a bunch of sand ready to go in so there's my sand ah, thing. so let's see put right there and then this chest we'll put like that and then we can pop some sand in there let's just grab a bunch of sand and this should start cooking when I put the sand in here 
Okay, so it's going into the hopper now. And that should go right into the furnace and start cooking. Yay! There it goes. So we'll let that sit for a while. Um, we can take the bucket out and we can fill it up with some more lava and put it right back in there. So, um, I don't think there's any lava left in my ravine because I've picked it all up. Um, hmm. Ah, there's tons in the nether. What am I thinking? <laughs> the nether is pretty much made out of lava. So now I can just come over here whenever I need, grab a lava bucket, go right back up. Let's cover this up a little. I think I'm just gonna go AFK next to it for a little while and um, let it all smell, so yeah. Okay guys, so my world is completely black and as you can see, something is unminable around me. I mean, I could use my diamond pickaxe. Which way is up and down? Oh, we have some sticks. Make some torches. Um, yeah, just as I expected. Uh, I just got back from my AFK session. And we are trapped in obsidian box. Um, luckily, my pickaxe is fast. Oh, my God. I mean... <laughs> It's a good thing I had all my tools on me. Oh, this is dangerous. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure I know who did this. Um, it was Athletic Orc because uh, I saw him a couple times while I was AFK. The first time, I was just um, I was sitting in my AFK spot right here. I boxed myself in with some dirt and cobblestone uh, so that no mobs get in and kill me. But anyway. Um, he just, he wandered in, uh, he was crouching a bunch and, like, walking in, and I saw him. I happened to, like, come over and check my screen, and I saw him sneaking around up in my base, and so I waited for him completely still for him to come down. He came down, I saw his name tag come down, um, he broke the dirt, and then I was standing there still perfectly still, like this, and then... I quickly went, ah, and hit him, and hit him a bunch, and I think I scared him, and then he ran away, and that was the end of that. But then later, I came back and checked again, and everything seemed to be normal. I was still in my AFK box, and then I broke out, but an exact replica of my, um, of my AFK spot was made at the bottom of the ravine. You can still see the remains of it down there. So he... I don't know how, maybe he like put a water bucket at the bottom and then broke the block below me and made me fall down. But he made an exact replica of my box way down at the bottom of the ravine. Uh, I think I was still in range of the smelting, so it didn't damage at all. But also, he took one of my buckets. I had three buckets, but then when I came back, there was only one left, and I crafted another one. But still, he, he took two of my buckets. I mean, who does that? So this is how I've been fueling it. It's kind of hard because I'm running out of lava. Okay, there's one. There we go. And now we have two lava buckets. And I've been doing this for quite a while. I only had one normal furnace running. I didn't have a snooper, super smelter. I didn't have blast furnaces. I had one normal furnace running and it took a painfully long time. I was AFK for about five hours, and um, I got this full shulker box filled up with glass, and then I started up on this one, and it's done quite a bit. I think we still, oh, is that the last, is that the last bit of glass? Yeah, another thing uh, I need to start is a sugarcane farm, because it's obvi <laughs> obviously cartographers also trade for paper. So I need to get paper too. And uh, Athletic Orc has like a one tick farm or something. And it produces a lot. He literally has like, I don't even know, 10 double chests filled with sugarcane. So <laughs> maybe I can make a deal with him. Like, 
if I can use it, then I'll give him like half the sugar cane I get from being AFK. No, he's probably gonna want like diamonds or something. And we can go back to AFKing, yay. And hopefully we won't find ourselves in <laughs> another obsidian box. We have almost two full shulker boxes filled with glass and that is a lot so this isn't just to build where the villagers will um will live but it's also to make um glass panes to sell to them and also <laughs> earlier i uh i just tapped on the furnace and then i cut off this part i took this out i broke it and then when the glass finished i took one piece of glass out and i got 16 levels I thought that was kind of cool because that was all the glass smelting. So, uh, what is this guy's trade? What are you? Ah, he's a leather worker. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Oh, I'm dumb. Um, epic, nice. Well, he's never gonna have those trades again. Ah, <laughs> so fast. Hello, sir. I am your new master. Oh, this is gonna take a while. So, I guess I'll just uh, cut to the part where I'm finished building the thing all together. So, yeah. See you. See you guys then. Okay, guys. So, uh, the, <laughs> the other villager... Um, that, uh, er, so I, I boated the first villager into the big hut that I made that I haven't showed you yet. Oh, wow. Uh, but then the other one got killed by a husk. And I went back to the village and I found this dude. Now, I, I think he might be the last villager left. Or I guess he's not even alive. So. But anyway, we're going to try to bring him back to the other place. Um... Uh, how much longer do we have? Ooh. Okay, let's get him there quickly. Oh my god. <laughs> let's make a little hut. And then we'll go right up here. And then we'll go through this back way and fill in the cobblestone. Okay, let's get this Zumbert over. And where did I leave him? Did he fall down somewhere? No, we can't cure him now. Did I trap? Oh, <gasps> that's where it is. Oh, all is not lost. You behave yourself. No, don't go. Uh. No. Here, come with me. Okay, get in the boat. Oh, it's just like episode one. Or episode two, I guess. Cause it, oh, there we go. So we can start breeding them now. Okay, so to breed these villagers effectively, um, we will need a lot of carrots and potatoes, which we can get from our carrot and potato farm. I guess that was pretty self-explanatory. But um, I, I think I'll have to break into my bone blocks because I don't think we have nearly enough potatoes and carrots for this. So let's just break all of this stuff. And there we go. And now we can replant some of these. We have a poisonous potato, it looks like. There we go. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Does it work? Ah, okay. Awesome. 
Okay, close is a little fast, but that's fine. Okay, uh, project A, project B. Now we need to make some more cartography tables. Oh, this is gonna be annoying, but it's fine. Let's grab some of these beds. The villagers should be waking up soon. So let's go down. Ah, they are. Okay, you better change like real soon, mister. Yeah, you, you eat that. And then I'll give this dude some uh something to munch on. So yeah, you two make babies now. I'll leave you to do your thing. And while they do that, I'm gonna occupy myself by going to our big square thingy in the distance. Yep, right over there. And me and Athletic Work are going to work on that. So, um, I'll go over there right now and we can start a time lapse. Okay guys, so sorry this was such a short time lapse. I ran out of snow pretty quickly and I didn't feel like mining anymore, so it's not much, but at least I worked on it a little bit. Guys, look, it's the miracle of life. A baby was just born. So cute. You know, you better be like your father on the right, because if you become another stupid leather worker, I swear to God. Oh, the miracle of life is happening again. Oh, they saw me. I am so sorry. Here. <laughs> oh, it's because I traded with the leather worker, so he won't change professions, will he? It is, yeah, okay, I traded with this dude, and now he won't. Are, are you, oh my, right in front of me, right in front of the children, come on. Or adults, whoever's watching this. Are children watching this? I don't know. Anyway, um, we'll leave them to that. So, another thing we need is, okay, is we need to get some more uh, animals breeded up. So I'm not actually gonna make that right here in the desert because as you could probably figure out on your own, this is probably the worst place that you could start an animal farm. So we're not gonna do that here. As oh, you, can, <laughs> you can see one of my failed experiments right over here. I, I left him there. He's been there since, like, almost the beginning of the season, and I sheared him once, and that was it. <laughs> so I didn't actually do a time lapse because I realized that I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't breed them all at once. I don't know why I thought I could. So I'll breed those over time, I guess, because they don't just, like, you can't just breed them with each other over and over again. You have to wait a while. So I guess that'll take a little while to do, but... Um, I'll go on sessions where I just wait until I can breed them again and then do it again. But I was going to come down here to check on how well the villagers are doing. Let's see. <gasps> Two babies. <gasps> Two more babies. What? Oh my gosh. You guys, <laughs> you guys have been working hard. Good job. Anyway, uh... So, we're going to head over to the base now for an actual time lapse, because that I am sure I can time lapse. Okay, I was, I was getting pretty angry. Okay, so this part was very painful for me to build, because uh, the scaffolding is very hard to stand on, I kept falling down, and the spikes are really hard to make. I had to make them pretty small, but uh, yeah... Um, I did finish two spikes, so that's pretty good. Okay, guys, so you saw that time lapse. I've done a lot of work. I, I kept falling off the scaffolding a lot, and athletic work came and broke it one time. But, um, yeah, you can see the beginnings of his base over there, which looks a lot bigger than mine, because I don't think I'm going to be extending this much further. But anyway... Um, these ones have been pretty small here. I'll give you a quick flyby to show you what they look like. So, yeah, these ones are pretty small compared to the center one. So that's why I think this one right here will be a very big one. 
I think this this one's gonna be very hard because it's gonna be I'm gonna try to make this one really big but um we can save that for later this probably took me about half an hour to make all of these like scaffolding is very difficult like it is also like I kept uh, flying out and then looking back to see how they looked and I just I didn't really like what I was seeing so I had to do a few takes but I think I finally got a good design going but anyway um yeah that'll that'll do it for um the base work oh, oh God. can we do this can we do it yeah anyway in other news uh I checked on the villagers a couple of times. We don't have any new babies, so there's still just four. Um, none of them have grown up either. Uh, but um, one problem was that they sold out of glass really quickly. So I made a deal with Athletic Work. I gave him uh, three diamonds, and he gave me this shulker box full of sugar cane. So. Cartographers also trade for paper, which means this will make it a lot easier. So let's just grab that. And, um, well, uh, that'll do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. What we did was we, um, we tried to breed villagers and we got distracted a lot. We ran into a couple problems and then we breeded some animals, and we also worked on the big white snow thingy in the sky, and we worked on the base a little bit. Um, I'm going to continue working on the base a little more. Next episode, uh, we're going to make this spike behind me, where this dirt block is, going to be really big, and it's probably going to take up all the time for base building next episode. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Guys, I am very sad right now. I walked through the portal, and right when I walked through, the portal blew up, and I fell into lava, died, lost everything. Again.